Um, I want to move on to another broad domain of financial innovation, um, and I'm going to call that, loosely speaking, trading platforms, because um, uh, one of the things I study is private equity. And uh, private equity has gone from being very illiquid to being progressively more liquid as you have private e shares in private equity ventures, limited partnership shares. That, uh, that exchanges have been created. Intermediation has made it possible to actually uh, uh, sell these things. And this we think of as a very a positive um, uh, development uh, for, for investors. Um, and then we hear about new trading platforms um, on the internet uh, for all sorts of things um, and new ways to access investors and so forth. So I'm gonna show you um, that, um, you know, there are a few principles that you need. Transparency, you need act, active share uh, trading, so liquidity. Um, you need to make it uh, accessible to a broad uh, pool of, uh, of, of those people that hold the shares. And uh, there's a desire for a fairness, because if you think somebody else knows more than you, or somebody else has an advantage, you're not gonna trade with them, and so the market will break down. And so those are the features that, um, from the very beginning of financial markets, uh, were necessary. Uh, this is a bond that we have in the collection at the Yale School of Management. And it, it, it's a tradable security. And so um, this security was originally developed, uh, it was issued um, <clears throat> in 1648. And it was issued in Holland, near Utrecht, and um, it was issued to finance, it was, a, it was an infrastructure bond to, to finance a very small um, curve in the, uh, uh, the river Lek. It's called uh, uh, Lekdijk Bovendams is the name of the place. And so um, they uh, sold off these bonds, they fixed up this uh, piece of uh, property, and the bonds are perpetual bonds. So this is a living financial instrument. Um, every, every decade or so, uh, somebody from Yale has to fly over to, uh, to uh, Utrecht and then uh, present uh, something and say, okay, pay me the dividends, uh, the coupon on this loan. And uh, we only do it every 10 years or so because um, that's about what it takes to pay the airfare. That's how much we get it. <laughs> um, but what's amazing about this is in Europe, uh, bonds were invented uh, and the tradability makes them an extraordinary instrument for savings. Um, you, you know, if you don't have bonds, what, what other instrument do you have for, for, for what other perpetual instrument do you have? You have uh, property, you know, you have agriculture, you know, you have fields where you can grow, grow grain, but this was a, a, a substitute for that, a financial substitute for physical property. Um, along with the creation of bonds, um, and actually so the earliest bonds that were created were sovereign bonds, actually bonds that were issued by uh, Venice, um, uh, the Republic, uh, Venetian Republic. Um, in order to make these things, um, they got more and more valuable when people realized that um, not only could they pass the, they tr give them to their children and so forth, but that you could, you could tr trade them. And the first uh, bond exchange, the first bond market, is the, in the Rialto Square in Venice. So that's, that's what we're looking at here. Um, and this was, uh, it, it's the heart of one of the, uh, Europe's earliest um, financial centers. So not only did you, it, could you um, uh, trade your bonds, you could also get loans there. There were bankers there. There were insurance brokers there. Um, so um, everybody, you know, it's exciting to go to Venice and go to Piazza di San Marco and look at this beautiful architecture. But if you think of the really uh, the, the heart of what made Venice great, there were three parts. There's the Arsenale where they could build those fantastic boats. But before they built the boats, they had to have the money to build them. And this is where uh, the, 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 the money was being generated. So I think of this as a must-see uh, for Venice um, that, um, that, that few people recognize is a, land, a watershed in the history of finance.